Hi folks, Donnie D here. Uh, I've been doing woodworking for a long, long time. I'm 61 now, and uh, I started messing with it in my late teens. Uh, been doing it off and on when I say that, because uh, it's been a few times I've had to lay off of it for a while because I had moved to a house that didn't have a decent wood shop. But uh, I've been doing it most of my life since uh, in my mid-teens, or my late teens rather, anyway. This is, uh, and about 20, 25 years ago, I started building a lot of bird houses and feeders, and I was actually selling them on eBay for a while there, but I don't mess with that anymore. Um, if just someone wants something, I, I build it for them. I had a lady that wanted a couple of bird houses, and this is one of them I just finished today for her. And uh, it's pretty nifty. I kind of like it. Um, and uh, I've done a lot of sort of research on bird houses and bird habits and stuff. I don't remember a lot of it because I can't hardly remember what I had for breakfast this morning. But uh, a lot of people say that, uh, or I've read a lot of places that bluebirds, for instance, and this, by the way, is a bluebird house, believe it or not. Uh, it's not specific to bluebirds, but it's aimed toward bluebirds. Say that bluebirds don't like and won't nest in a house with perches on it, but you can see this one's got perches. I've got a house that's almost identical, same basic house in my front yard that I've had for uh, out there for probably eight, ten years, something in that range. And uh, the birds don't mind the perches on that one at all. Also, I understand that bluebirds are so territorial that they don't, that they won't uh, nest in a multiple room house or at least they won't allow another bird family. Well the other morning <coughs> this past week I was sitting in my truck getting I'd cranked it up getting ready to pull out to go to work and I saw bluebirds go into and come out of three of the rooms or uh, different houses or rooms rather in the house I have in my front yard like this one so that's not necessarily true. Another thing I've heard is that you need to clean out the rooms or uh, the houses every year from the old nest materials. I've never cleaned a single one of mine out and they, I've had them in there every year since that birdhouse has been there. Of course I have a few other birdhouses too and similar results with those. But anyway this is one of the ones that I built for this lady. Uh, it's basically built from cedar, mostly from cedar. There is some salt treated lumber in it and in certain spots. Uh, the perches or these particular ones, I like to make the ones on this particular model uh, are one out of uh, hardwood. These are walnut, I mean, yeah, walnut, and they're held on with some exterior glue and a, a bronze nail, and also a little bit of hand carving there on the, uh, some of that stone looking stuff there. But anyway, kind of a neat one, I think, and uh, she wanted two, and this is the other little house that I built for, uh, kind of a cute little house. This is also designed for, or the whole size is at least for uh, uh, bluebirds. And this is a two-room house. Uh, but anyway, uh, just thought I'd share. This is Donnie D. And I'll see you later. Bye.